to my subscribers, new subscribers, YouTube viewers, and my Twitter followers. This channel, this video is uh, on my dashboard, and the new YouTube's uh, Google's dashboard. They fuck people now, they change shit so fucking bad on YouTube. And when you try, when you're a YouTube uploader, you want to, um, you know, you want to go with YouTube Google's rules so you can keep your channel, you don't want to get fouled out on bullshit. Um, then the old way was easy. Now you gotta go to your dashboard. This is Google YouTube's new dashboard. Um, Alright, to find your sub page now, you need to go all the way down here. Major pain in the ass. The old sub page was nice, it was in, it was in order to win people sub to you. Um, now it's just fucking a nightmare. Nightmare trying to keep things in order. Um, you gotta go, click on that arrow, hit lifetime, subscribe us. Now make sure everybody is uh, going to show on your sub page as long as they keep their sub count showing. Um, I just did a shout out to all my subscribers. Um, I do have row of 50. You could go from uh, 10 to 50. Click on that. So you could go through your sub page, make sure everybody's subbed and all that. Which is awesome. That's what I do. Alright. On my shout out, I was saying YouTube's fucked people now. They can't go and check their status of their channels and stuff. Cause I don't, I didn't know how to do it, but I just figured it out. Just found it. Was dicking around. We went to settings here. You go to settings. You go to channel, which is awesome. You need to do this channel thing basic info. This is where you put all your tags for your videos and say all that. Um, you go to your event settings here. This is bullshit here. Let's see. Then you'll need to go down a little bit. Hit advanced settings. This is where you can change your channel's um, sub count to show again. You're back to where that event setting was when the old way but now this is their new way it's still here so that's good it's a default setting YouTube old YouTube and YouTube Google never fucks with this you're the one that did that and that's where you're getting screwed so you need to go back find this hit back up here and hit save and boom you're unscrewed you will show up on uh, a sub on your sub counters now your sub counters will work um, people know how many subs you have if you still think that you want to hide your subs it's your channel you do what you want but I'm telling you you're fucking yourself why don't you do that it's stupid to do <coughs> all right um you do want to look at your channel status. It's good to do this daily just to see your channel status. <coughs> we'll uh, go down here again. What you can do manage your YouTube account. <coughs> uh, smoking too much pipe tobacco here. Okay, channel status and features. Uh, let's look at the status and features. Go to this one here. This is where you get all the perks for being a YouTube uh, uploader. Once you get your thousand subs, then you get your uh, four thousand views. So then you can start enabling stuff. So. <coughs> uh, sorry about the coughing here. I shouldn't have been smoking my pot. So, so there you go. And it'll let you know where your community guideline strikes are. Uh, do you have any community guideline strikes? I got zero. You get three. Do I have copyright strikes? No, I don't. So now, at least 
I know the status of my channel. I don't want to wake up one day going, oh shit, my channel's been deleted. What the hell did I do? Well, you, like I said, the old way was easy. I knew where everything was at. This is like a lot of clicks. You're like, oh fuck, where's that? Um, but this is very important if you have a YouTube channel. You do have to keep this fucking clean. Um, copyright strikes are important. I know people like fucking uploading videos, m movies, music. But unfortunately, a lot of those are copyrighted. The artist that made the video or performed in the movie or video, they want to get paid. That's how they make their extra money when they're not on tour. And they want to sit back and enjoy the the uh, rewards of their hard work and uh, putting their neck and time out there to entertain somebody. So... To me, uh, YouTube's a little generous. If I owned YouTube, I wouldn't let anybody up copyright anything. I wouldn't have copyrighted shit on my platform because I don't want to get sued by these big entertainers and companies that want to have money. But YouTube will douche your channel real quick. You got three of those. And it's kind of stupid because you go to your video you go to your channel videos and if there is an issue with your videos they'll have restrictions here uh, every time I upload a video I go here to make sure I don't have copyright or some kind of community guideline thing or something and if I do uh, you have options if it's copyright usually what happens if I'm doing uh, driving videos and I have my my stereo on and hear some background music I'll get a copyright strike because uh, some uh, artist is fucking mad on videoing with their s music in the background, the fucking douchebags. I want to get paid for it. So I have two options. I could delete that video, or I could edit the fucking sound, make a new soundtrack, or find some uh, uncopyrighted uh, music that YouTube provides for background music but then you don't hear any comments from the the video maker or the the commentary of the drive like oh hell I just hit a possum that sucked oh shit his gun it's gonna stink fucking damn thing alright well this is a little help video just to help people cause uh, YouTube is doing a lot of changes getting rid of the old YouTube uh, platform ways of doing shit to so Google YouTube could say this is my platform and my way is the best way yeah YouTube Google my motto is if it ain't fucking broke don't fucking fix it and this is a major pain in the fucking ass and it's gonna piss a bunch of people off cause I'll let you learn something you don't wanna learn some other bullshit and this uh, uploading videos to YouTube major fucking pain in the ass YouTube we don't want this new way to stay with the classic it's easy it works so but YouTube's new way of uploading it's more to make you change your channel videos made for kids so YouTube doesn't have to pay so they're not gonna change that they they like the free content that you're putting on YouTube for them to make tons of money and they don't want to pay you because when you tag your channel made for kids only on an adult platform that just makes you look like a total douche and you lose comments on your video, you lose monetization on your videos, and makes your video kind of suck. Because people do have some good channels, and it's fun, and it's nice to be able to leave a comment or a question on somebody's video, especially if they're building things, or making things, or cooking things, hey, and Hey, where'd you get that pen? Where'd you get that tool? Where'd you get that part? Can you leave a link for me? Uh, how much did that cost? All those little stupid questions 
make the person who made the video feel good because they help somebody and that's what I like about YouTube you could have your channel awesome by sharing your information on how to do things um, I like to talk about RV and a lot of people are out there going oh I'd love to have a RV or a travel trailer to get away and have a good time uh, yeah I love it too it's uh, not a bad way to go it's uh, full time RVing is not for everybody but um, for a single guy or a single woman uh, single women it's a little bit harder because there are a lot of things you got to know how to fix and know what about especially the electrical system in a travel trailer is different you have a 12 volt system and then you have a 120 uh, system uh, your system only could your landline in a travel trailer is usually a 30 amp system so that's not a lot of electricity you could play with hair dryers you might blow out a fuse here and there trip your breakers with hair dryers and curling irons where dudes could don't have to worry about that. We don't curl our hair or blow our hair dry. We usually just fucking wake up and go, oh, new day, let's go. The girls gotta get all, all dolled up, you know. So, full timing won't be too great for women. Most women that do uh, full timing, they have a husband or a boyfriend that deals with all that crap. And they're just there to cook and keep the hub of her husband or boyfriend company until she finally gets fucking tired and says fuck it we need a house let's, let's uh, either buy some land we'll put we'll put our RV on our land and we'll build us a house I'm getting tired of living in a travel trailer and they do it and that's probably the ultimate really goal but I don't recommend people selling their houses and then going to the RV dealership to buy them a brand new fucking million dollar rig thinking oh we'll spend all of our house money on a new rig and life will be dandy no it doesn't work that way you do that you're gonna be fucking so pissed probably divorced and then you'll be in your travel trailer all by yourself saying what a douchebag I was <laughs> but uh but it'd be fun for about two or three weeks, maybe a year. And then after that, you'll be going, why did I sell the house? I want to go back to the house and relax. And, because uh, when you're full-time RVing, you have no shelter for your tow vehicles or your, your rig. So you're out there for hell damage, wind. Uh, tree damage, anything could happen. Somebody could back into your rig while you're sitting here. And you're like, oh, what a douchebag. Now I gotta go get my fucking shit fixed. And it's my house. Where are we gonna stay now, you fucker? So, yeah. There's always, always something could pop up. Where a house, yeah, your house could get hit by a tornado, flood, or whatever, but, uh, yeah, got pros and cons of both when I was 11. Um, I don't mind staying full time in my travel trailer. I get a lot of free entertainment at the RV park. I never know who's going to be the neighbors next. Uh, I'd say 98% of the time, my new neighbors are pretty awesome people. You got 2% are total douchebags litter bugs, fucking scumbags I'm like what the fuck, get the hell out of here run out of money and move on move on but other than that, there we go alright well I was uh, a bold faced liar about YouTube taking away this uh, ability, I just didn't know how to find it, but now we do now we do um, it's in your dashboard. You just have to go to your dashboard now to find things. So, so yeah, go to dashboard, go hit settings, and 
find it there and now all your subs are all right here you just have to click on that to get your sub page all right well i hope this helps you out on google's youtube's new platform the fucking douchebags always got to change something make it a little more difficult you know fucking fix something that wasn't broke what a fucking bunch of assholes but there you go all right well hope this helps you out and thanks everybody for the 250 subs i appreciate everybody all right we'll talk to you later bye bye